Hi, my name's Josh, and I'm the MyEsri product owner. At each release, we are always looking to improve your experience in MyEsri. With licensing being a major workflow on the site, we have taken advantage of 10.7 to make some key improvements to make it easier for your organizations to get your software up and running. These include setting a default to the licensing page if you'd like, so that way when you log in, you're on the licensing page every single time. A basic mode that you can turn on when you're on the licensing page that has key steps for you to go through the licensing process easier. Licensing Esri products through the use of tagging, so when going through the, the licensing process, you can actually tag the licensing files you created with specific information around deployment information or, or other types of information your organization uses. And finally, um, we've put in the ability to save a configuration of the license file you've created. So that way, if you are using or creating license files with the same setup each and every time, you can actually save a configuration and utilize that configuration instead of having to go through those steps over and over and over again. Now I'll turn it over to Hillary, who will go through the licensing process for ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7 and demonstrate where these new features are located on the site. Thanks, Josh. Before we jump into my Esri, let's look at the license files we will need to license ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7. We will need one, a license file for ArcGIS Server, so this would also include any licenses that you need for server roles and server extensions. And two, we will need a license file for our ArcGIS Enterprise portal. So the keyword there is a file. So you will only need one license file for your ArcGIS Enterprise portal starting at 10.7. And this file will need to include all of your user types and all of your applications that you want to use in your ArcGIS Enterprise deployment. So now that we know what licenses we need, let's look at how we actually get those licenses. I will be covering the workflow for Portal for ArcGIS since ArcGIS server licensing workflows are mostly unchanged. The reason why the workflow will look a little bit different for your portal is because now we have introduced user types, which is a new licensing model for your users. And with that, as Josh mentioned, we wanted to jump at the chance to make some improvements to the MyEsri site and help to streamline your licensing workflow. So what are user types? User types are a combination of a user's identity, applications, and capabilities that really give organizations more flexibility on their licensing terms. Here are the five general purpose user types that can be licensed starting at ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7. So note that viewers are equivalent to level one named users and creators are equivalent to level two named users. Essentially, the functionality for each is exactly the same. There are three other user types that are brand new. Editors for editing data, field workers for contributing to field data collection, and GIS professionals, which come with ArcGIS Pro. If you are interested in adding any of these user types to your license terms, please contact your Esri account representative. Let's look at how we license these users and applications. To get started, I am logged into my Esri as a user with permissions to take licensing action. I'll select the tab at the top, My Organizations, and then select Licensing, and then the tab License Esri Products. This is the tab where you will license all of your Esri products. Here you can toggle Basic Mode on to streamline the interface, as Josh mentioned, and I have enabled that on this page. So on the License Esri Products tab, I'll select ArcGIS Enterprise as the product, version 10.7, and Portal for ArcGIS. So you'll notice that I get a pop-up, and this message just states that the workflow will generate one complete license file, just reiterating the fact that I will need to license all of my users and all of my applications for this specific enterprise deployment within one file. So on the next step, if I continue, I will start selecting my users and add-on applications that will be part of this file. So in this case, I want to license viewers, creators, and field workers. I also want to license an add-on application, Tracker for ArcGIS, to then assign to my field workers. On this page, we have added drop-downs 
to see what applications are included with each user type and which are compatible and can be added to those different user types. So keep in mind this will all be based on your licensing terms. So I've purchased field workers and creators and tracker. So here I can see that the tracker application will be compatible if I want to assign it to any of my creators or my field workers. On this page, we have also added quick help links to take you to common questions. For example, if I need to know more about user types, I can click the link and learn more about them within my Esri. On the next step, you can then license any ArcGIS Pro licenses or ArcGIS Pro extensions that you are licensing through ArcGIS Enterprise. Keep in mind that there is a new user type called GIS Professional that includes ArcGIS Pro, so here you would just see any additional licenses for ArcGIS Pro that you have purchased outside of that user type. On the next step, you will be prompted to enter in your contact information, which you can copy from your profile, and then you will be taken to the last step to review what is included in your license. You can always go back and reallocate if you find you have missed a license in the previous steps. For this license, you can see my viewers, creators, and field workers are included, as well as my tracker application licenses. To deliver the file, I can select to directly download to my machine or to email the license to myself or someone else. I can also add tags, as Josh mentioned, which can help me to organize my different license files. At the very bottom of this page, there's a button called Save Configuration. This is a new concept of being able to save your licensing selections so you can go back and edit them when it comes time to add new user types or applications. Since again, you only need one file for your portal and importing a new file into your portal will rewrite your existing one, it is important to always include all users and applications in this file. This ability to save your configuration will auto-populate what you have already licensed so you aren't having to start from scratch. So now that I have my portal license, I would then go back to the License Esri Products tab and license ArcGIS Server. And with these two files, I would then have what I need to license my software and can now work on my install or my upgrade. We hope this video helped give you an understanding of the new updates to my Esri, and we also hope that it could be used as a guide when you're ready to license ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact Esri or post a comment in GeoNet. Thank you. Mm -hmm.